President Biden and congressional leaders have been meeting to try to reach a deal on raising the debt ceiling, but they face a serious time crunch and a partisan impasse. The debt ceiling is the legal limit on how much the federal government can borrow to pay its bills. If Congress does not raise it by June 1st, the Treasury Department warns that the U.S. could default on its debt, which could trigger a global financial crisis. Biden has been in talks with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, the top Republican in Washington, who has demanded spending cuts and work requirements for safety net programs in exchange for his support. Biden has indicated that he is willing to make some concessions on work requirements, but only for programs that do not affect health care, such as food aid and cash assistance. He has also ruled out any changes that would push people into poverty or undermine the fight against climate change. However, Biden's openness to compromise has angered some Democrats, who see work requirements as punitive and ineffective. They argue that such measures would hurt low-income Americans who are already struggling amid the pandemic and the economic downturn. They also fear that Biden could give up too much ground to Republicans, who have repeatedly used the debt ceiling as a political weapon to extract concessions from Democratic presidents. Meanwhile, time is running out for a deal. Biden has cut short his trip to the Pacific region to return to Washington on Sunday and resume negotiations. He has expressed confidence that an agreement can be reached, saying that all leaders agree that the U.S. will not default. But he also acknowledged that the talks are separate from the budget negotiations, which will determine how much money the government can spend on various programs and priorities. The stakes are high for both sides, as well as for the American people and the world economy. A debt ceiling crisis could have devastating consequences, such as higher interest rates, lower credit ratings, reduced government services, delayed payments to Social Security recipients and veterans, and a loss of confidence in U.S. leadership. To avoid this scenario, Biden and McCarthy will have to find a way to bridge their differences and strike a deal that can pass both chambers of Congress and win the president's signature.